Hi, this is Jen White from Scrapper's Workshop, and today we're going to look at reference points. When I have my Move tool selected, you'll notice in the Tool Options bar I have the Show Transform Controls box selected. In that box, when that's selected, you can see my bounding box, and inside the center of the bounding box you see this little symbol here. This is called a reference point, and what this does for us is it tells us where the rotation will occur, the axis around which the rotation will occur when you rotate an item. So if I'm going to rotate this item like this, I can click near the corner and turn it and you'll see it's rotating right around that little spot. All right, I'm gonna undo that. Now, if I want it to rotate around a different spot, all I have to do is move that reference point and there are two easy ways to do that. First thing I can do is I can click on the reference point and drag it down here to one of these other boxes. All right. When I do that, it will rotate around that point. Neat? Cool. The other way to do this, I'm going to undo that. The other way to do this is when I hit Control T to transform or I just click on one of these squares, you'll notice that my tool option bar changes. Up here in the tool options bar is what's called the reference point location and it's a little graphic that shows you where the reference point is and right now you'll notice the center box here is dark and the rest of them are white and each one of these boxes corresponds with a box on the bounding box, a little square on the bounding box. So if I click this and drag it here you'll notice it changes up here and it goes down to the bottom. Well the cool part about that is I can also change it up here. If I click in the center box it moves that reference point back. If I click up here it moves the reference point to the top. So that's a real quick way to move the reference point right to that box without having to drag it. Especially helpful if you have a very large item and a long distance to drag. Now why would you need to know this? Let me tell you. I'm going to hit enter to get out of that. I could use this to make a flower out of this heart. What I'm going to want to do is duplicate this heart a few more times. So I'm going to hit duplicate layer. We'll say OK. We'll do that a couple more times. I'm right clicking on the layer and hitting duplicate layer. And click OK. So now you'll see I have four copies of that layer right on top of each other. Now if I change my reference point to the point and I rotate this first one, it rotates right at the point. I'll hit enter to save that. Click on the next one. Move the reference point. You have to move it each time to the next one and rotate it around that point and hit enter. And one more time, I'm going to move the reference point to the bottom. Click it here and hit enter. All right. So you see, I can make a cute little flower out of my hearts there simply by checking that moving the reference point on my box. You can see this and other tutorials on our blog, scrappersworkshop.com slash blog.